Welcome to Wissen Wednesday, the show where we talk about knowledge in Germany. Today we're going to be talking about 10 tips that'll help you travel cheaply. This is not the ideal vehicle you want to have if you'll be want to travel cheaply. The cheapest form of transportation is public transportation or your feet. Another way that we like to save money is by using Airbnbs and we found this really cute place on Airbnb for only, what was it, like 33 euros a night? 50. 50 euros a night. But look at it. Another tip is to bring your food with you. So for this trip, we've brought a lot of dried fruits with us and some crackers, and we can also make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and we have chicken noodle soup. And that can help you save like 10 to 15 euros or dollars each day because you don't have to go out for food. I mean, sure, this costs a little bit, but we're really saving money. And you also want to bring your own water because I feel like with the price of water, you can save a lot if you just bring some with you and you know where to fill it up. Plus, dried fruit tastes pretty good too. It's nature's candy. Mmm. Another great way to save money while traveling is through booking flights during weekdays or trying to book flights that arrive and leave on weekdays and also using VPNs. If you don't know what a VPN is, it's basically a cool way to change your IP address. It's more secure. And when it comes to airports, a lot of times having a different IP address that makes it look like you're in a different country can get you different rates. It's a little touch and go, but sometimes you can actually save a good amount of money. So if you ever need a place to stay while you're nearby Kochum, this place is a very cool place to stay. It's located on a horse farm and all of the horse people are really nice and you also get to see horses like in your own backyard. I love it. Another tip you can have to save money when you travel is to book layovers. This is one of my favorite ways to fly and I found out about this four years ago and it's probably one of the first ways I used to save money while traveling. So I did a semester abroad in Germany. As part of the university they made you fly like to have a direct flight which can cost like $1,200 or more. Its average is probably about $1,200. But one of the cheapest things you can do is book a layover. So then I found out that you could book a layover in Iceland and Ireland. And those are really good places. And so that cut the flight down. Lucas and I have had flights that have been like $333, like round trip, because we've booked the layovers in them. So make sure you look into that option. You can also save money based on where you decide to stay. Be that parking your car or hotels for the night. It's always so much more expensive if you try to stay in a hotel near like the center of the city or major attractions. It's also a lot more expensive if you try to park anywhere and near the center as well. If you just park a little bit farther away and walk, you'll save so much money and you get a little exercise. Another cool option, and this is something I've been getting more and more into even at home, is just getting up early. It gives you a better start to your day, more time to do stuff, and when you're going on vacation, I know you want to relax, I want to relax, but getting up just even an hour, two hours earlier lets you really feel like you're getting the most out of what you're spending. And it means you beat all the tourists that come. Another tip for traveling cheaply is to pack lightly. And I feel like for females, I'm definitely speaking at you with this one. Because I used to be a person who would bring a lot, like as much as I could, and stuff my bags full. But on my most recent trip to Greece, I only brought two dresses, two bathing suits, a pair of shorts, some running clothes, and a nice top. And I got by, and it was actually really relieving also to not have as much stuff to carry. So that means that I didn't have to pay to have an oversized bag. It made it feel so much easier. Another tip to travel cheaply is to limit your souvenirs. So this has been a big one for me because I used to like to collect a t-shirt everywhere I went to make a t-shirt quilt. And I also used to like to buy postcards and things for my family and friends. But if you're really trying to travel to a lot of places, it's easier if you just 
pick something for yourself and something small if you really need to collect something. I've known a lot of people that actually just switched to taking photos of them with a beautiful background and that's their souvenir. But I have recently started collecting hat pins, which are little pins you put on your hat from each city I go to. The last tip is just to pack prepared. Make sure you have whatever you might need in advance instead of having to buy it. For instance, if you're going someplace really sunny, maybe get some sunscreen beforehand so you don't have to buy it there in the tourist traps where it will cost five times as much. There you have it. Those are 10 tips to travel more cheaply. And if you have something else, be sure to add it in the comments below. Like this video if any of these tips were good for you. If you want to make us feel happy. And subscribe. See you later. Mark. Plus, dried fruit tastes pretty good too. Oh my God, oh, chunks. Should I do it again? Not the whole thing. You can do that part. Okay. This is not the ideal vehicle. Is that okay with them? The noise. Go ahead, just do it. This. Another of these would be an option. Oh, you get to be at the bloopers. Watch. There you have it. Those are our ten trips.